Hi everyone, it's Phil here from Ashland Leather. I've got this really cool raw shell cordovan piece and another raw shell cordovan wallet to show you today. But before we get to that, let me give you a quick preview of some of the stuff that we're shipping out today. We have a raw shell cordovan Frank the Enforcer, a raw shell cordovan Johnny the Fox, a tumbled natural shell cordovan Johnny the Fox, a special new one-off Fat Herbie with black shell cordovan and teal latigo, Color number eight, Chrome Excel, Giant the Fox. A black Dublin, Giant the Fox. Color number four, Shell Cordovan, Giant the Fox. A black reverse one shot card holder. Amaretto Shell Cordovan, Giant the Fox. English Tan Dublin, Frank the Enforcer. Color number eight, Marbled Shell Cordovan, Frank the Enforcer. A natural Chrome Excel, Bugs Moran. And a natural Chrome Excel, Fat Herbie. I really wanted to give you a look here at this Raw Shell Cordovan Frank the Enforcer because we did a special limited run of these. There's only one left. A few people, I think three people picked them up over the weekend. And all of those are going out today. And I can't wait for you guys to have that and experience the patina that develops on this Raw Shell Cordovan. And the Raw Shell is really, really special. It's a leather that I've been dreaming about for years. And the first piece of Raw Shell Cordovan that I was able to get from Horween, I turned into this Fat Herbie. And this Fat Herbie here I wore for a year and you can see how much the color has deepened over time. Just the patina that has developed on here is extraordinary. The colors turned a little bit more golden brown and definitely darker. But what I think is the most interesting part of it is how the luster has developed on here. Just after a year of use, and it actually happens a lot faster, even in a couple of weeks of using the raw shell, you'll start to notice that the luster develops almost like a wet look on the surface. A very bright, shiny luster, similar to how all of the shell cordovan is after it's been polished. But the difference with the raw shell is this starts off not polished at all. So like on this Frank the Enforcer, you can see the color is much lighter, and definitely more of a matte finish when compared to this Fat Herbie that I wore for a year. Now check out this other raw shell cordovan, Johnny the Fox here. This is a really clean piece of the raw shell on this uh, traditional wallet here. The Johnny the Fox is their most, most traditional style, but this raw shell on the back is very smooth and even. Sometimes we see a little bit more random character to the raw shells. This one does not have much of that at all, but this is gonna age very, very nicely, just like the Fat Herbie I wore for a year will get much darker in color and develop a nice sheen to it. And I wanted to show you the last tumbled natural shell, Johnny the Fox. And the reason I brought this out after the raw shell is this character and color remind me of the raw shell cordovan, where it's a little bit lighter in color. And I expected that this tumbled natural shell will age very similarly to how the raw shell ages, where it gets darker and shinier over time. But the big difference with the tumbled natural here is this character on the back. Those pebble patterns that you see on the left and right of the exterior of this wallet, they do appear textured, but it, you can also feel the texture. The peaks and valleys and ridges in that texture are very cool. And the tumbled shells that we have seen age are very nice. The only one that I've seen with a bit of use is Skip Horween's tumbled very degree color. And that has got a very nice, it's almost like a wet look now. Uh, so the, the tumble natural shell and all of the tumble shells age very nicely as well. All right, we're moving on to our one-off flash sale of the day. I'm really happy with how this one turned out. This is our Fat Herbie in black shell cordovan with a teal contrasting, we call this the middle piece. And we also included some teal thread to complement all of that. For a few years now, I've been a huge fan of how the black and teal look together. And this is sort of the next level of all that. I really, really like the way this one turned out. What I think is cool is everything about it. There's just that contrast of the black and the teal, but we get it everywhere. So we have a black shell cordovan piece on top of that vivid, vibrant teal latigo in the center there. And then in addition to that, the teal stitching really helps that black look even more interesting. There's something about these two colors together that I just find completely compelling. And we get more of the same on the inside here. The black card holders, the teal on the centerpiece, and more of that teal stitching. 
This is one of my favorite fat Herbies of all time. And we've been trying different experiments with combinations in our workshop. And I'm really excited to keep trying to make things that excite us, including this fat Herbie. This is one of those, it's one of the reasons that I get out of bed in the morning. It's just to make really cool stuff, including this fat Herbie. You can find this on the flash sale page of our website right now. Up next here, I have an Apple watch band in natural shell cordovan. And I really like how the natural shell ages. It's similar to the raw shell cordovan. However, with the natural shell, the normal stuff, it starts off with that very much mirror-like shine that you expect from shell cordovan. We make an Apple watch band only for the larger Apple watches. So the current series five Apple watch, we only make the 46 millimeter size, the larger of the two sizes of Apple watches. And we do them in two different finishes. So this one has a silver adapter on the top as well as a silver buckle, but we also make black hardware for our straps. Up next, this is a really beautiful color number eight, Chrome Excel Johnny the Fox. And this is one of our more recent offerings of options for our Johnny the Fox. The color eight is a classic shell cordovan color, but we've translated that color over to the Chrome Excel leather. So it's a little bit less expensive, but in a similar color. I also notice on the Chrome Excel leather that the color is a little bit more vibrant and a little bit more cherry and more red when compared to the shell cordovan, which is more of like a dark brown burgundy on the shells. It's a little bit more red on the Chrome Excel. And then we've paired this one with a custom black horse hide interior to keep the thinness down. All the horse hide leather is inherently thinner than the steer hide that we use on the outside. If we use steer hide for inside and out, it tends to bulk up the thickness quite a bit. So we had this horse hide custom made for us to keep that thickness to a minimum. Here's another Johnny the Fox in black Dublin. And I really like the stealthed out look of this one where we have black Dublin on the outside. We have black horse hide on the interior. All of the edges are very nicely finished black. And the inside of the wallet even is black. All of the reverse side of the leather is black. And the Dublin on top of that, I think this leather is the best black leather that you, you will find anywhere. It's the only black leather that has any amount of natural character to it. And what I mean by that is if you look closely, you can see the fine grain character in the leather itself. And if you look at other leathers, other black leathers in particular, and you look very closely, you'll notice that this grain character is filled in by a high amount of finish. And it's often more like a paint that they apply to the grain of the leather. And it really fills in all those bits of grain character. So it starts to look more like paint than leather at a certain point, particularly on black leathers. So for me, the black Dublin is about as good as it gets for leather. And for me, it's the best black leather around. I have another really nice John of the Fox here. This one is in one of my all time favorite shell cordovan colors. This is the color number four shell cordovan. And the color number four is roughly half the darkness of color eight. It's much more of a medium brown with red undertones. And it really kind of reminds me of a, like mahogany or something. It's just a really nice shade. On the inside of this John of the Fox, we've paired it with a custom horsehide latigo again, but this time we have a different color. This is a color called Mock, and Mock is a very light tan. We believe this is an old tannery color name that was just a shortened version of the word moccasin. So it's this really nice light tan, a little bit of a sandy, uh, mild yellow color on the inside. I think it pairs very nicely with the color number four shell on the outside. Here's another more recent item addition for us. This is our one-shot card holder in the black reverse shell cordovan. And I like the one shots as a very minimalist style of a front pocket card holder. So this will hold several cards. For me, when I use these, I don't like to put more than like four or five inside. I find it gets a little bit more cumbersome when you add more cards, when you're to around six or eight, it will hold that many cards. In fact, you'll probably be able to fit a dozen cards in here, but it's just a pain to use when you have that many cards in here. So I like this as a very minimalist style for a front pocket wallet. I've been suggesting the one shot to people that want to try out different colors of Shell Cordovan or maybe even different colors of Dublin or Chrome Excel that we offer to see how they wear in and just to see how it, you experience it in person. And that's really the only way to get a full appreciation for some of these leathers. So this is a nice inexpensive way to try out some different leather options. 
Up next, this is our last Amaretto Shell Cordovan, John of the Fox. And I'm sad to see it go, but I know that this one is going to be very well appreciated. I love the Amaretto Shell Cordovan. That's my favorite Shell Cordovan color. And there's something magical about this color and how it changes. It has a bit of a color shift depending on what angle you look at it. So some angles, it's a little bit more red, a little bit more of a medium brown. Other angles, it's very much a vibrant orange tan that I very much like. And on the inside of this one, we've paired this with a color number eight reverse interior. And the color eight reverse is a little bit more of this orangey tan shade. I like the reverse interiors because they age in very nicely and you can more easily fill in any scuffs and scratches that might develop on the inside. Here's a Frank the Enforcer in color eight marbled shell cordovan. And this one's a pretty aggressive contrast for the color eight marbled. A lot of times they're a little bit more subtle than this. But this one you can see on the bottom, this is about as light as the color it gets. Little bits of color texture inside of it. And on the top, this is a little bit more what we normally see, where there's more of a mild gradient in color in this section. And on the front, we have more aggressive contrast where we tried to pair these uh, alternating with the more mild stuff on the bottom, a little lighter in the center, and then that aggressive marbling on the top. Here's another Frank the Enforcer in one of my favorite leathers. This is the English Tan Dublin. And I think the reason that it's one of my favorites is I get all the natural character of the Dublin grain that I like. With a combination of a color that I really enjoy, it kind of reminds me of the color in the Amaretto Shell Cordovan with just a little bit more of natural character of the Dublin. So I like them both. I think, I think that's what it is, the Amaretto Shell Cordovan really reminds me of the English tan. I'd say maybe the English tan is a little bit darker. The other big difference with the Dublin is this is finished with a wax finish. So it has a bit of a waxy feel when compared to the shell, which is just a very silky smooth feel. And I have two more wallets to show you. Both of these are in natural chrome XL. And we put up a photo on Instagram last week of some really beautiful natural chrome XL on our Fat Herbie. I've been receiving a lot of interest in the natural chrome XL recently. So this is the Bugs Moran and natural chrome XL. This is a bestseller for us. We've actually had a little bit of a challenge keeping these in stock. It's just a really nice neutral tan, a little bit, uh, a little bit of vibrance to it. Maybe a slight bit of yellow orange in the undertones, but that chrome XL just has this really great, rich feel. And because we designed the Bugs Moran to fit perfectly in your hand. That feel of the Chrome XL, I, I just think the combination of the hand holdability of this, if that's a word, and the richness of the Chrome XL, I think this makes it a really special uh, minimalist card holder. And contrary to that, this is the Fat Herbie, which is very much the opposite of a minimalist card holder. I like the Fat Herbie because I wear my wallet in my back pocket. And I like the way that this sits a little bit flatter in my back pocket. And that's because of the unique card layout on this one. We don't stack these cards on top of each other. We spread them out across more area. So even when you load this up with 16 or even 20 cards, it lays thinner than just about every other wallet that you will find. And that, again, that's because of this unique layout and the natural Chrome Excel, you get a nice big cut of it on this piece. And there's something about the context of a larger piece of leather that to me is just where it shines. I like seeing these large pieces like on this natural Chrome Excel Fat Herbie. So this is my personal favorite wallet, although I've been wearing the 100% English tan John of the Fox, and we'll have those coming back in stock soon. Uh, so look out for that in the next couple of weeks. I'm hoping to get you guys some belts soon. Uh, so you can be looking forward to that. And uh, here's again, my Rosho Cordovan Fat Herbie I was worn for a year, really enjoyed this one, and I often miss wearing it because I love this wallet so much. Um, but now it's sort of just a, uh, a reference model to compare to the new Rochelle, like this Frank the Enforcer, just to show people how it ages. Because that's part of the fun here is experiencing the patina on each of these leathers, wearing them in, making it your own little style. So hopefully you enjoyed everything in the video today. Um, big fan of the Rochelle. If you have any questions, please don't hesitate to let me know. Until next time, I hope you have a good one and take care.